I made up everything that I said. Marnie Yang has spent the last 13 years in prison for killing Ronnie Reuter and her unborn child. Reuter's boyfriend and the father of that unborn baby was former Chicago Bear Sean Gale. Yang's attorney, Judd Stone, claims there is no physical evidence linking her to the murder. Stone recently conducted an interview with Yang in prison and controlled the questions being asked, but he shared that interview exclusively with Eyewitness News Today. He says the strongest piece of evidence against Yang is the purported confession she gave to a friend who was wearing a wire. As soon as I saw that wire, I decided this is an opportunity for me to just do it. Just, I'm not speaking to her. I'm speaking to the police through her. Yang maintains she gave what amounted to a false confession because she says police were actually threatening to arrest her son for the crime. I just was not even thinking about what was going to be beyond putting a stop to what was happening to my children. I believed it would be clear the evidence would show that I did not commit this crime. Yang, who is 54 years old, is serving a double life sentence at Logan Correctional Center downstate. Her attorney is hoping a Lake County judge will grant a hearing to determine whether Yang can get a new trial. He says it's risky to put a client on video at this stage of the case, but he believes it's necessary. I think that we need to win this case not only in court, but also in the court of public opinion. Uh, Why? Because it's the way justice is achieved. During her time in prison, Yang has become a grandmother to a little girl she's never met. She says the very plot she hatched to confess to save her children now keeps her separated from them. She says the hope that she might get a new trial is what keeps her going. I go through periods of such deep depression that I don't know how to crawl out of it. Everything I love, I'm separated from. Marty Yang's attorney says he's provided the Lake County State's attorney with a copy of the prison interview. The state's attorney has long maintained Yang is guilty of the murder, which is why the office has fought her efforts to gain a new trial. The office tells me today that they have no comment about the prison interview.